Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Actually, we finished our application in general. We can update, delete, read and add new employee. But we have one problem. Let's try to edit the details of from Wilson. Let's click edit button and let's change the name from Fran to Buran Willy. Edit employee, we receive our message and as you can see, we updated our employee successfully. But after we refresh our page, as you can see, our changes has gone. The reason is that in let's go our code and here in employee context.js, we are receiving our employees as a static array of objects. We are doing our change and our change functions are working but after we refreshing our application our change has gone because of this of course in real life projects mostly we use database and rest api to store our data but here we will use local storage so first let's talk about what is local storage Let's go back our application again and inspect and from our menu let's go to application and here is our local storage. In briefly local storage allows us to store data across browser sessions. Local storage is more or less similar to session storage but in local storage there is no expression time if we don't erase our data in local storage it will stay here as you can see in local storage we are storing data as a key value couples so let's go back console and now here I will write some JavaScript code to explain what is local storage better first let's create an object person and as you can see some snippets actually before this lesson I have made an exercise for this reason you see this snippets let's create a person object and the properties of this person object will be name john week and age properties will be 40 and if we write person to our console as you can see we can retrieve our object but let's refresh our page and try to retrieve again our person object when I click like that, as you can see, person is not defined. After refreshing, we lost our person object. Now I will create again a person object, but this time I will send this person object to our local storage. Again, person, person object will be, this time I will use snippets. And I will send this object to local storage. For this, I will use set item methods. What is set item method? Local local storage dot set item. As we spoke before, set item will take two parameters. One will be key, key will be person, and value will be our person object. But to send to local storage our person object, first I will convert this object to string. For this, I will use json stringify method json dot stringify and the stringify method will take our person object as a parameter oops sorry now let's go to our application we can see our key and value couple key is person and value is our object but this object now stored as a string now let's look how we can retrieve our object. Let's go back to console again. To retrieve data from local storage, we will use getItem method. Local storage dot get item. As a parameter, I will write here the key value. Key value is person. Click enter. As you can see, we received our data, but we received our data as a string not as an object to get our object this time we will use json parse method json.parse and here i will use this snippet again here 
inside of parse method as a parameter I will send local storage get item method with person parameter now click enter as you can see we received our data but this time we received our data as an object now let's clean our console and then let's clean also our local storage let's go our code and implement this feature to our application here in employee context.js we have initial value for our employees the scenario will be like that first we will send the initial value to local storage then we will catch and get the change in our employees first let's send our initial value to local storage for this reason i will use use effect hook use effect this arrow function will work automatically and what does it do it will send our initial values of employees to our local storage local storage dot set item this time key value will be employees and our second parameter will be json dot stringify and inside of stringify we will put our employees save the file and let's go our application and refresh our application in our local storage now we have our initial data as is okay now we are sending our data to local storage now it is time to catch the change in our storage for this reason i will create another use effect hook and here use effect again this use effect also will work automatically this time we will get our employees from local storage how can we update our data in our application with this set employees method for this reason inside of use effect hook we will fire set employees set employees inside of set employees we will put our parse data json dot parse inside of parse we will use local storage get item method local storage dot get item and as a parameter it will take employees this time we want to get employees data if there is a change for this reason here i will add an empty array save the file everything is working let's go back our application and let's edit again this from wilson what we said this will be brown willy edit employee and now our edited employee let's go our local storage and as you can see we have updated this data also in our local storage and now refresh the page after refreshing the page we lost our changes let's go to code and why oh the reason is that we are receiving our data and we are sending to local storage and we are always updating the same data we have to get updated data for this reason i will cut our second use effect hook and i will paste here save the file now let's make it again go to from wilson let's make this bramley again edit employee and now as you can see our data our updated data is here refresh the page and our updated data staying here let's delete this dominic i deleted the dominic as you can see it is deleted from local storage also refresh the page our delete has worked successfully and finally let's add new one add new employee this will be ricardo quaresma as always generic address generic phone number add new employee we received our message and here is our ricardo quaresma because we are sorting our employees and inside of local storage here is our ricardo quaresma this is the end of today's lessons and end of the series we successfully created a court application successfully we will see each other in the next series